This is day two of trying to find my niche. I'm testing out the Zobi uh, software for Mac. It's my first time. Let's see how it goes. Marquise Brown, iPhone versus Android, the real winner. I like his thumbnail because he has the different colors of the iPhone and as well as Google as well. He's one of the biggest tech guys on YouTube. Super smart guy. He's been in the game for a really long time. I considered switching to iPhone. But I'm accustomed to using an Android phone because I like being able to customize my device. I like the keyboard. I like the split screen. I like being able to pop out the Google Maps. Maybe I'll give Apple a try. I have a Best Buy credit of $850. And I was trying to see um, what trading devices that I could get. So just say, for example, if I bought a trading device on Swappa.com, can I use that credit as a trade-in to buy something at Best Buy? I'll consider it. But for sure, Swappa.com, it's a good place to get cell phones for cheap used cell phones. I was also looking at this guy. He was doing phone service reviews for subsidiaries for the, the main three companies, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. And they have smaller companies where I'm on Verizon and I pay about $60 a month. And Visible is owned by Verizon as well for the parent company and they charge about 25. I considered getting another device so that I could create other YouTubes because technically you need a phone number to be able to do that. Listening to music, let me know what kind of music you guys listen to. Uh, comment down in the chat. I like R&B, hip hop, whatever is on the radio. Sometimes I like house music. Lupe Fiasco, I, I liked his music back in the days. I'll have to check this out later. I, I like the thumbnail, it's nice and clean. The title of the song, Samurai, that sounds dope. He's he's more of a real rapper in a sense that he raps about things that are occurring in life versus some guys, they might only rap about um, high, life, high life stuff. Can you pursue women and money at the same time? It depends. Everything's a trade-off. If you're super busy, you may not have a lot of time to pursue both. And they say... <laughs> You, you should chase the money first because the, the other things follow versus if, if you're chased, you're not chasing the money, then uh, you could be losing money. It's a trade off. You, you lose one when you're chasing the other. So just balance it out. Uh, Beast Mode Jones, he's pretty cool. He's a bodybuilder, businessman. He's very, very smart, very intelligent, funny guy. Check out his channel. He's somebody that I aspire to be like. He's a good role model, family man. Flossie Carter, another another big YouTuber. He's pretty cool. I like his personality. He has a good sense of humor. Anything that you want to know about tech, check out his channel. 100K on college and ended up a construction worker. How my life. Advice for dads. Advice from a dad. It's interesting because... I went to university back in uh, tw 2002. <laughs> I'm dating myself. But I I got a four-year degree. And when I graduated in 2009, it took me six years to graduate. I couldn't get a job anywhere. I probably had around $30,000 worth of that. I went to other different schools. I never really used the degrees, honestly. And it's probably more my fault. So. Uh, just have a clear picture of what you want to do in terms of your program, where you want to go. Make sure you balance out your passion and how much money you can make in that direction or where you want to go. If I could do it all over again, and I, I did create relationships at those universities, but if I had to redo it, I would not go to university because I think it's overpriced unless you want to be something that requires a license such as lawyer doctor those kinds of things or if you wanted to be a plumber then you, you need credentials so it makes sense for those areas but in terms of software 
or other types of fields. You don't necessarily need traditional school. I thought this was interesting. This person, Sad Hours, he's playing a video game and he's playing sad music in the background. Just be aware of what you're listening to because if it affects your mood, uh, be aware of what you're getting out of it because sometimes when you listen to sad songs, it sinks you down. But I, I noticed that sometimes if I'm not in the greatest mood, I would listen to a sad song or something and then it would allow me to get out of that state because it changes your mood. Brandon Carter, he eats two packs of sardines every morning. Fit guy. I think that he uses a plastic fork so that he doesn't have to wash silverware, I guess. I don't know. You could just recycle both of them. A can of tuna is probably 20 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, no carbs. And it's easy too. You just pop the lid and you eat them. Lucky dude. I wonder what that's about. When you work on a unit full of women and the nursing field, it's predominantly women. I went to nursing school in 2020, I believe. And pretty much there were four guys in the class. It was pretty hard. I passed by a quarter of a point. It was a good experience in the sense that you get to learn about your body. You get to learn about how to help people. It's a rewarding position and career if that's what you're into. But they changed the RN from two years to four years. So just keep that in mind in California. iPhone versus Android. It's whatever you value, whatever your preference is. Miata. Why super low calorie diets can be good. You, f you have to figure out what is reasonable for you and what you can sustain because you can technically lose a lot of water weight, but it's not necessarily based on your composition. So they say that if, if you're doing it slowly over time, it's better because your body gets a chance to adjust. But if, if you're trying to cut real fast, you, you could pull back, you could fast a couple days. It's up to you on how you want to do it. There's different tools. I was also thinking about um, cold plunges, whether or not they work or cold showers. Do you guys do those kinds of things? And also for a sauna, I saw that you could buy a sauna, but I was thinking if you get in your car in the summertime and the windows are closed, technically, it's kind of it kind of mimics a sauna, right? Because in your car, it, it'd be pretty hot. You could play around with it, see what you like. Uh, Mazda. My first car was a Honda. And I had it in high school. I, I bought it before I went to college. But when I moved to California, I switched over to Mazdas. I had, uh, what was it, 2005 Mazda 3, 2009 Mazda Speed 3. I had a couple RX-7s, 2018 Miata. And then I just went back to Honda. Max to Mini. Do you guys like using bigger phones or smaller devices? Depends on your hand size. This channel, it's pretty good because it pairs a real life animal video with relaxing music. And going back to my idea yesterday that you technically you could buy a fish tank and then you rec could record the fish tank because you'll have water sounds in the background. You could record one of those every day, post it up to YouTube, see if it pops. Visible, it's kind of like Mint Sim where it's a, it's a cheaper version of Verizon, but the service might not be as good. I was also wondering if iPhones have better service than Android. Let me know your experiences in the comments. I have Verizon. It doesn't matter where I live. If I lived in Mountain View or Gilroy, I have, I have to use a, was a Wi-Fi calling because the network is it's just not good enough. I, I don't know why, but if, iPhone had better cell service than I could possibly, that could be a reason for me to switch. How did I just figure this out? You could probably use a, a Allen wrench or something like that, or, or maybe like a socket tool. Tesla, Teslas are pretty good cars. If you touch drive them, they handle pretty well. Even the cheapest base model three, it, it handles pretty Pretty good.
And when I had my Miata, it was modified. Technically, they're about the, the speeds are the same. You can accelerate pretty similarly. I think I would get bored if I had this car, though, because it, it's pretty, it's cool. It's kind of basic, though. Everybody has them, too. Three high estrogen foods men should avoid. What are they? Maybe tofu. <laughs> Maybe adamame. What else causes estrogen? Fat foods, sugar foods. Just don't eat those kinds of foods. Just say, for example, if you're eating, if, if, you're, if you're gaining a lot of weight, then it lowers your testosterone and it increases your estrogen. So just keep those in mind. You could get blood work done to, to check the status of your of your health, go go see your doctor, set up an appointment, and then you could go from there. But in terms of working out, if you have more muscle, then your metabolism will be higher, your testosterone will be higher. The amount of sleep that you get per night, it affects your testosterone, your estrogen, and all of that. Unboxing LG32. It'd be cool to try out one of these TVs as a computer monitor. I'm current. I currently have uh, you know, 24 inch 4Ks. Recently, I had to increase the size and the font and the zoom because my eyes. That I noticed that I've been straining my eyes lately at work because I pretty much look at a computer screen all day. Make sure you guys go get your eyes checked out and get your proper glasses. I I have three different glasses. Sunglasses prescription, glasses for seeing far, glasses for up close when I'm at the desk. I haven't been wearing the glasses out front, but it's something that I should build that habit to try and preserve my, my vision. Hybrid athlete, full day of eating. This guy looks pretty cut. He looks real lean. I like his tattoos. I personally don't have tattoos. I don't like needles. Maybe I'll get a tattoo someday, but I'm pretty basic. I'm pr I'm pretty plain person. I'm subtle. That's why I never got them. Come with me to buy my dream car. Is it a Tesla? Is it something else? It'd be cool to own a Roadster when it comes out, but you probably need a quarter mil to be able to afford that. I was also thinking that uh, studies say that iPhones most of the users they're more social and maybe they're they're more well off economically because i think that uh, apple products in general they're pretty expensive but it's interesting the types of personalities that use apple products versus android and just say for example if you're texting somebody if you're on an android and you text the iphone you would get a green bubble <laughs> versus if you're an Apple, you would get a blue bubble. Some people discriminate, but it is what it is. How I plan my day, week, month. Rui, she has a good channel. She has, it's based on self-development. She's multilingual. She's pretty smart and intelligent, and she made it. It's pretty cool to for her to document her, her journey. It is important to plan out how much time you have in a day because just say for example if you sleep for eight hours and then you get ready and clean up for two hours that's 10 hours you work for eight hours that's 18 and then you have x amount of hours left six more hours to do other kinds of things maybe you have to commute but it's good to plan things out so that you know what you can do if you if you're working on the weekdays then uh, maybe you have extra time on the weekends. If you want to make more money, you could get a, a second job side hustle. There's a lot of different uh, YouTubers where they talk about um, how to make money doing X, Y, Z. That's a good niche too for finance. Uh, five signs, you're actually a handsome man. Awesome Dunham, he's uh, into men's maxing. He gives a lot of good advice. Good looking guy, he's fit. He's articulate. I like his channel a lot. 
what are the five signs that you're handsome? I would say for him, he's groomed. He has a nice haircut, his, his beard shaved, his body is nice, fashion's on point. He's articulate. He's well off. He has high status. And those are the things that I think that make him attractive as a person. Anybody but you. It was a funny movie. Check it out. It's good for dating. This movie, Madam Web, I think that it was a pretty good movie, but it just didn't get the reviews that it should have. In my opinion, if, if you put the, the villain on the cover, it would have done better in the theaters. But check, check this movie out. I wouldn't mind watching it again. Flying over Sicily 4K. Main reason why I was looking at all of these 4K videos was because on my old laptop, I could connect it to one external monitor and then whenever I open up multiple browsers playing YouTube, it will lag. But I noticed with this new M3 Max that I can open up however many browsers I want on. It, it didn't really lag. I can handle it. MacBook Pro, M3 Pro after three months. So I, I had this laptop. It's a M3 Max top spec. I'll most likely keep it because I don't want to set up another laptop and I, I don't see the point on downgrading even though I probably won't utilize the computer to what it is but it's future proof for me. I, I like the hardware. The facial cam is pretty good. The screen, the resolution is good. My eyes aren't good enough for the highest resolution on this laptop the the keyboard it feels really good it's heavy though so if you want a lighter laptop check out the 14. i use the CapCut pro on the macbook air and the 14 inch as well it's about it's pretty similar where i was trying to see which laptop would export faster but it was all pretty similar maybe it's it's software based Oh, and also it's based on the size of your files that you're using. The video that I uploaded yesterday, I recorded on my cell phone for an hour. That was about 12 to 13 gigabytes at 1080p. I saved it, converted it to 720, and it was about two and a half gigs. So well, we'll see. That's why I'm testing out this OBS software to see if I could avoid having to record on my phone, that's one less issue. And, and it's also, about, I won't have to put the file into the software editing. It'll be quicker on export. So building your mindset of a champion, Brandon Carter and Rashid, these guys are pretty cool, they're real fit. Building a champion mindset. I'm pretty sure they're they're super on point with whatever they're doing. They're structured. They have everything planned out. Going back to this video, how you should plan out your day and your month. Uh, if, if you set aside time to maximize all areas of your life, uh, you, you could be successful at it. And just know that Rome, it wasn't built in a day. That you would be taking baby steps to be able to climb that mountain. And it, it is possible. I went to uh, Walmart this morning to, to get my groceries. I pretty much got a five pound, um, was a ground beef. I'm not sure if I could eat all of that in a week, but <laughs> main reason why I bought it was because it, it's $2 cheaper than the individual patties. I got strawberries, blueberries, what else? Broccoli, egg, egg whites, came out to like a buck 20. And it's interesting, when you go to Walmart, they lock everything up. Everything's locked up, even floss, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. Sometimes they put extras on the top shelf, and then I just grab it from the top. But it's kind of sad that uh, people have to steal, and then they're ruining the shopping experience for, for everyone else. Even when you do a self-checkout at Walmart, somebody else, they have to do it sometimes, and... It defeats the purpose of it. I'm not sure what a good solution is, even if you had security at the door or roaming the store. It's a uh, it's overhead cost, right? That will get passed on to the consumer as well. 
2025 RDX reveal Acura, they make good stuff. I, I like the colors. The thumbnail is pretty good. Text pops out down here. Alone and Outpost 4K, Sleeping Ambient Music. I wonder if, if you can use non-copyrighted, non-royalty-free -ro music to recreate these things because technically you can post an image in the background and on upload the music let's see if this guy's monetized <laughs> it says that he's possibly making a hundred dollars to uh, 1k one and a half k which is pretty good it's rain songs it's crazy that you can <laughs> you can record the rain and make money off of it What else? Does the same guy or a similar niche guy where he's just driving around in a video game? The guys that record on doing the video games, they're using this OBS software. And I, I figured it out. I had to do a how to on YouTube to figure out how to configure it. iPhones. Why do you guys like iPhones? I personally don't like them. They're, they're kind of basic and you can't really customize them. Their hardware is real good. I will consider getting the new one because it's a Type-C. The hardware is good. The software is made for the hardware versus Android, it, it isn't. So 23 Brutal Truths, I learned at 23. That most people learn at 24. What are they? I would say for me, a Brutal Truth was when I graduated university, I learned that I couldn't get a job cleaning toilets at in and out I was working at the airport at the time. I was only making $20 an hour. And I, I tried to apply for a janitorial position because they made 30 an hour. At, at San Francisco airport, <laughs> I applied and they said, you're not qualified because you don't have the education to do the job. And I had a four year bachelor's degree in human biology. It was kind of a slap in the face. It's kind of funny though. That, uh, technically, they have janitor school for you to learn, and maybe it has something to do with the, the chemicals that they use. But also in terms of uh, relationships, if you could learn the psychology behind um, how men and women think, because we're different, our hormones are different, our objectives are different, how we think is different. But there's a lot of overlap too because um, just say, for example, she would probably expect me to look good, to be in shape, to have resources, to have good communication skills, to be fun, to be an entertainer, essentially a provider. You're, you're pretty much fulfilling all of the different roles that you could think of. You're, you're a handyman, you're an electrician, you're a plumber, uh, you're, you're a warm blanket. Uh, what what are things that that you guys value in terms of your partner or having a relationship with another person? But I think uh, most relationships don't work out in the long run. When I was a kid, I saw my parents. They got divorced when I was six months, and that's why I never legally married. I never had kids. I don't think. It's beneficial for me to get married or have kids because it's pretty expensive. If I wanted to have kids in a Bay Area, it probably costs about three quarters of a million dollars from day zero until they're 21. I'd rather be investing in myself and my retirement, my business pretty much than doing that. But if you have kids, cool, because they're future tax earners. Future taxpayers. All right, five things that turn a boy into a man. Far from weak. What are five things that turn a boy into a man? I would say experiences. Just say, for example, if you're in a relationship and you get burned, then it would be your opportunity to grow. And when you get older, your mind, it expands because once you go through those goals that you think that you should hit when you're young, for example, going to university or getting your first real job or um, going through your first breakup, that 
um, you would learn to adapt and to improve. Sometimes you have to be alone to train. The, um, nothing in life is fair. You don't have value until you create your value. Should people accept you for who you are? It's kind of black and white and life isn't black and white. It's great because I wouldn't accept the lower version of myself. Why would I expect you to accept the lower version of me? I wouldn't. That's why I, I would work on myself. I would try and expand my mind, try and get on the self-development journey and be the best that I can. In my opinion, uh, God didn't put you on this planet. Or if you don't believe in God, the universe didn't put you here for you to be average. Uh, you have a lot of potential. Even if you don't believe in yourself, the uh, if you see other people accomplishing big things, you could do it too. You just have to find what are the reasons as to why you want to improve. How can you do it? And just know that failure, it's normal. The, I, 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 fell, I fell a lot. I fell a couple weeks ago when I, I scraped my hand. When I was in nursing school, I probably failed half of the quizzes the last quarter. I barely passed the the final, I passed it by a quarter of a point. It was 70 and I passed it by 70.25. But just think of it in terms of, uh, sometimes they don't care about your GPA. As long as you pass, then you're, you're good to go. You're not a failure, you're not an event. Um, just strive for, for what you wanna go and go for it. And just know that in sales in general, if you're a good salesman, uh, maybe you're only going to make a sell 5 to 10% of the time. That's normal. It's better to try and fail than not to try at all. I built a cell phone plan comparison chart. This guy's pretty cool because he goes into detail and he's showing you specifically what kinds of phone plans you could use. If you couldn't afford Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, there's cheaper options. I like Verizon. Well, I use Verizon because technically they're the best, even though I'm not really happy with their service. What it takes to get 5% body fat. I'm pretty sure when I was cutting a month ago, I dropped down to 155 and I get brain fog to maintain that low body fat. It's pretty hard. It's a trade off though, because you have to train a lot. You can't eat a lot of um, different kinds of foods. It takes a lot out of your body and to be 5% year round. I, I wonder if it's possible, but check out his video, Mo, Mo Samuels. Kevin Samuels goes off on an almost 30 year old guy, still living with his parents. If you live with your parents and you're helping them, you're taking care of them, it's cool. But if, if you're leeching off of them, it's not really, <laughs> it doesn't look good on your part, but uh, sometimes people could be low and they could need help and uh, ju just work, work hard, try and, uh, try and help out your, your folks. If, if that's your situation, sometimes it's a struggle just to live. When other people see you're doing better than them in life, your your true friends. If if you're if you're a good person in general, uh, you would root for people. You wouldn't necessarily be jealous or envious of somebody because, just say for example, when I was in academy, I, I saw my boys graduate, and they deserved it. I was I was proud of them, but for the longest time. I felt a lot of shame. I applied for over 30 places and I never got in. But uh, looking back, I learned that I wasn't supposed to work in those positions. I'm pretty sure because I was a different person. I wasn't mature. That I think it would have been bad for me if I was in those positions. But oh, always be positive if you can. Look to the positives. People treat you how they feel about themselves. So just say, for example... If I'm treating somebody bad, it's because I, I don't like myself. That, that You would treat people based off how you feel in your heart and your mind. 
And sometimes when, when you're progressing, people don't want to see you succeed, but that's why I said that if you're going, if you're swimming in a specific direction, sometimes you would have to release your anchors, let them go. Sometimes people, they're not going to be in your future. Unfortunately, that you, you would have to love yourself and, and focus on you. You would have to be selfish with your time, your attention and resources to, to grow and the direction that you want to go in. Sometimes people, they're, they're busy. They're busy on other people or other animals or, or whatever. But once you have a clear vision on what you want to do, your goals, your mission, you're, you're going to be busy with, with those kinds of things and you're going to focus on them. All right. Stop overthinking, slow down, and overactive mind. I, I think I have ADD. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty random. I will think of different kinds of things. Sometimes when I'm talking to somebody, I, I would change the topic and, and it's not necessarily, it doesn't really go with the flow. But I was thinking, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And it, it's a part of my personality. Also, if I'm trying to speak really fast, it could be because I'm not confident because I don't want to forget what I'm trying to say. And I think that maybe I could slow down or change my range because I know I'm monotone and I'm trying, I try to work on my vocal range and my animation but i think that this is me right now my range is is narrow but i would like to to broaden my range on you get better at talking to people by talking to people the, you would think oh you know this person doesn't want to hear me this person doesn't want to see me smile they don't want to hear me talk but that's not necessarily true because just be objective when you look at things in your life or things that you wanted to improve. 12 things the dealership isn't telling you about the Honda. Those cars, they switched from uh, naturally aspirated to turbo vehicles. I will look into a hybrid for this car. I'm pretty sure it's pretty good, but in terms of turbo, it puts more stress on your vehicle and more stress, it, it means that the engine life, it decreases. But obviously, if, if you're driving speed limit, it's all good, you know. But for example, my Miata, if, if I was driving it to the max, I blew the engine at 90. So just keep that in mind if, if you're thinking about if you're thinking about modifying your car. And also for the infotainment system, they have a wireless Bluetooth and it lags. It's not that good in my opinion. It's better just to connect it. Connect your phone and then you're, you're good to go. All right, deload per week plan. A deload from my understanding is you're kind of taking a break or you're reducing uh, your normal workout. Because if, if you're only increasing it and you're staying at such a high level for a long time, your body, maybe it doesn't have time to adapt. It, it needs time to, to rest and to be able to recover. And then after that week, you could go back to your normal. There have been studies that shown that people, they recovered faster and, and they've also been better off after that deload week. This guy's pretty cool, Renaissance periodization. He has good jokes. He has a lot of knowledge, bodybuilder guy. Check him out. Uh, home prices shoot up 6.2% to a new record high. <laughs> I don't have real estate. I live in a Bay Area. I probably couldn't afford to buy a house anyways. I would have to move out to, to Tracy or Modesto or something. And then even then, you're probably going to be commuting two or three hours to the Bay. Chris Harrier with Nathan Secret Training Tips. This guy's pretty cool because he gets into calisthenics. I, I like his, uh, his food days of he's showing what he's eating in a day. I like his tattoos, his physique. He has a good personality, a good brand. iPhones, uh, just ignore her. The raw truth about why women chase the men that ignore them. Just say, for example, for PlayStations, when a PlayStation 5 first came out, you couldn't buy them because they would sell out. 
you would have to go on Craigslist and buy one for overpriced. I didn't even want one. <laughs> I just bought one on Craigslist because you couldn't buy them. But you want something that you can't have. And just say, for example, FedEx Fearless. He's a good looking guy. He's high status. He has good skin hair. Skin care. His, his hair is nice. Nice physique. Good brand. And I'm pretty sure that uh, when you're ignoring people, uh, maybe they think that you have, you're have you dating other people or you're with someone else. And that's why it goes into psychology as to why. It's interesting because when I was in college, the EOP director, Educational Opportunity Program, he said, um, don't be a psychology major. But uh, now thinking back that psychology, it's pretty powerful if you could use it to sell people sell something to people, sell them a service, sell yourself, your business, those kinds of things. Just say, for example, if, if I was talking to you and I, and I asked you, let me know your availability. And if you say I'm available any day of the week, any time, I would know that you have nothing going on and your value kind of drops versus if I said, oh, I'm only available next week on this day and time. That it shows that this person's busy. They don't have time to, to be messing around. And if if you're not available during that time, then uh, we would have to find another time to schedule it out. I recently went to an acupuncture place, and a lady said I'm booked out until June. That means that she has good services, or she doesn't necessarily have a lot of staff because she was complaining that, oh, you know, my, my front desk personnel isn't here. One of my other staff members, they're not here. So it, it's interesting how the psychology plays into it. What a warrior does when he has multiple interests. What are your interests? What kind of niches do you want to create? And I think that there's a lot of different interests that, that people have. It depends on uh, where you're spending your time. If you want to get better at that specific talent, for example, I have a meeting at 630, I just remembered. It's for, uh, for mental health. My work, they're giving out free consults, so I'll try it out. But it, it's cool to try out new things because you, you never know if you would like it or not, whether or not it's going to a car meet. You could go on Google.com and then you could look up festivals that are going on to try and get out and socialize. You could go to a coffee shop to work. You could go dancing, a rock climbing, martial arts, well, whatever you want. There, there's things to do that you could get out there and, and meet different people and try and make friends, connect to be social. How, to, how faceless YouTube channels make millions, safely avoiding something. This guy has really good content. I, I could binge his whole channel. That He pretty much goes into a lot of different YouTube things and he gets to the point. He's real successful. He has a course. So I was in a course and then I got booted out of the course. There's another course on school socializers it's 200 per month it's pretty in depth it's in detail the person running the course he had experience with faceless channels and also using his face as a personal brand you guys should check it out i recommend it this guy make money where i'm at he has a course that's five bills i'm pretty sure it's a it's a reputable course because he's already giving out a lot of valuable information on his youtube channel but it's kind of similar to if you were watching a video on martial arts, if you don't practice it, you're not going to get better. So um, just, just try and learn as much as you can and put it into practice so that um, you could get better. I think the past the past month, I've been trying out different strategies, different videos, and it, it's just been pretty draining. I felt like I was failing, but it's a part of the learning process. This person, Jerry, rig everything. He has a cool channel, <laughs> technically. Whoever I watch, I'm, I'm going to think that they're cool because 
this is the YouTube algorithm for me. The, this is pretty much YouTube knows who I am already. So these are the things that I enjoy talking about. After 13 years, I finally tried an iPhone. iPhone 15 Pro, maybe I'll do that this year. He did it for 100 days, that's pretty impressive because if you gave me an iPhone, I'd probably return it within two weeks because you have to learn how to use it. But I remember working for a company, I used to use Windows all the time and my boss said, here's your Mac, learn how to use it. And I was resistant, I didn't want to learn how to use it, but uh, most companies that hire you, they're going to give you a Mac. They're not even going to ask you what kind of machine you want. So you just use what they give you. Six amazing qualities of people who like to be alone. <clears throat> I think for the introvert label, introverted people, they're pretty observant. They have attention to detail in general. I'll just speak on my own because I can't speak for other people that I won't necessarily tolerate a lot of garbage from other people. I'm, I'm a take it or leave it kind of guy. I'm pretty straightforward. I'm clean. I'm cut. I'm, I like to to be fit. I'm, I like to, to represent who I am, to be proud to be direct with people. Because I think, just say for example, if, if you hired somebody to do work, wash your car, whatever, right? And uh, maybe you didn't like how they did the job done. You can tell them specifically, I want it done this way. And just say, for example, when I went to the dealership, Toyota dealership, I said, I want this car and this configuration and this color. And the guy said, oh, we can't do that because the stock is lower or whatever, you know. But if I'm going to spend 50K on a vehicle, then you're going to give me exactly what I want, essentially. But I'm, I'm pretty particular with with the electronics, those kinds of things, the, the way I live my life. I've been told that I, I'm a planner type or I'm a systematic type of person. I, I like things done a certain way, but maybe the way that I do things, they're not necessarily the best way. That's why uh, if, if you could learn from different people, that's why communication is big. To, if, if you go out, you ask people for advice on fashion, skin care hair stuff oh what what do you like uh what what's the best tracker those kinds of things that you would learn more because i can't buy every single pair of different shoe that they have i can't buy every single macbook that's why you're you're asking people for advice on what they think and and also in terms of me i, I would think that my way is the best way but that's not necessarily true because uh, maybe I could be blinded by a narrow tunnel versus uh, somebody giving me a different perspective. That's one thing that I like about Toastmasters is they critique you and they give you suggestions on how you can speak better. One lady, she said, you're kind of monotone. You should work on your dynamic range. You should be more, uh, have more range. Your pace should slow down. You should use your hands more. They said, I should use a PowerPoint. When I'm speaking, I should memorize my speech. And, but I, I stopped going to, to Toastmasters because I, I focused on the courses that I got. Uh, it's too late for you, Salty39. I would say for this one, he's probably talking about the age of a person. I was listening to the Jubilee on his opinions on people that that were overweight or underweight and I think he gives an opinion based off of his standards what he wants for himself and you don't necessarily control other people you can only live by example and control yourself if people want the help they'll ask for the help if they don't then it's all good you can't force people to, to be in your world or to be in your life. You just project who you are. Those people that want you, they accept you, then they'll come around. And if they don't, it's all good. The planche, I was never able to do the planche like that. It'd be cool to do the par do this on parallels. Oh yeah. I think it's 
it's highly regarded because not many people could do it. Imagine if 0 0.0001 people could do this kind of move, the, the planche. Don't ignore these signs, the most serious signs of potassium deficiency. I would have to look this up. Uh, a guy, he has his hand on his chest. I'm pretty sure potassium has something to do with the electrical charges in your body. If if your heart isn't getting the electrical charges, it may or may not be properly. Probably affects sleep, your energy levels. That's why she has a, a cup of coffee. This guy is pretty cool, Doc, Dr. Eric Berg. Super intelligent. I, I like his channel a lot. He gives great information. Take care of your body, your vessel, because it's your vehicle. You only get one body. Maybe in the future, we'll be like Iron Man. Who knows? But when, when you're young, everything's operating fine. But when you get older, when you pass 40, uh, things start to go down. How old do you guys think that I am too? Because I'll be 42 in November. I think that there's a biological age and there's a physiological age of how your your physiology, if your metabolism is higher for your age range, then you could have a lower physiological age versus your biological age. Just say, for example, if I'm if I was born in eighty two, I'm forty two, but if my metabolism is as high as a thirty two year old, then that that's your age because I could be forty two and and I could be very very unhealthy. That if I was drinking, smoking not working out, eating bad, those kinds of things. My sleep is, it's not optimal. And that's why I think you guys should look into a tracker. It tracks your sleep, your stress, the amount of calories that you burn. You guys could get a scale where it syncs everything to an application. You could see your data trends weekly, monthly, those kinds of things that, that helped me to get into better shape this spring. I used to do BJJ with my boy. I haven't done it in a while. It's a really good workout. I almost broke my nose last time I was there because I, I tried to spin out in a different way on, and I landed on the guy's knee. But it, it's a pretty good workout. I, I think everybody should learn BJJ for ground, kickboxing, kids and women for sure. They, they should do martial arts. So learn how your body works for self-defense. If you're a smaller or weaker person, you should for sure learn how to fight. I remember last time I went to a Gilroy BJJ, there were a couple guys, 125, 135. They, they were mopping the floor with me. They were tapping me out left and right. And I weigh, I, at the time, I weighed about 160. So I outweighed them by 20 to 30 pounds. And, and they still, they manhandled handled me. The Laws of Power. They have a lot of free audiobooks on YouTube. Check them out. The audiobooks, they kind of remind me of tricks and tips books, uh, video games, but um, these, they're for life pretty much. And I think when I was a kid, I never liked reading. My reading level was always a level behind. I had to repeat the first grade. I was in survival mode, but... In school, they teach you a lot of garbage, in my opinion. Uh, if, if I had to read these kinds of books that could actually help me, maybe I would have liked to read in the past. And I said that I don't like to write, but I like writing about my passions. I don't like writing about useless stuff that they teach you in school. I would say 5 to 10% of the information you're going to retain and use. And the rest, you're going to learn on the job. Spider-Man, this guy, super strong. It's like 505 pounds, it's crazy. That's impressive. The GOAT, this guy has a really good channel, Savage Geese. He bases videos on cars. He's pretty direct. He's straight up. That's what I like about him. He gives his honest opinion on whether or not a product is good. I like these kinds of reviewers. This guy, Lucky. He talks about um, buying used cars, new cars, the dealership, the processes. 
why everybody hates a dealership. I personally don't like going into a dealership because it's all sales, right? The, you have to figure out. You don't really know what the price is until you go talk to them. But I think when, when I bought my car recently, uh, my car was broken. So I didn't really have leverage at the time. But you, you could come up with a number and you could just say take it or leave it. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm not patient enough to negotiate, but it's a skill that can be obtained. I monetize the Faceless channel in 30 days. So there was a challenge. It's a 30-day challenge, two-month challenge, where you're trying to monetize your channel. And I didn't even get close. I think for one channel, and I wasn't doing it the right way. I got 6,000 views and maybe I got 50 subscribers, but I had to pull the videos because I was taking clips of other people's videos. But this takes a lot of work. Just look into the guidelines of what's fair. And just say, for example, if you do a faceless channel, you can take clips, but then people can claim copyright against those videos. Uh, you could get a a script writer, a voice guy, thumbnail, video editor. He's pretty much building a team and outsourcing the work to people. He said, you need 30 to 60 videos on a channel before you start to see traction. And if, if you're doing all of the work yourself, it, it will be pretty hard. It takes a lot longer. I think that I should try to start hiring people just to train them, just to get the reps in, just to learn how the process works. This guy's pretty cool, Todd V. He gives good dating advice, a lot of psychology behind it, how to lose your love handles. I never liked my love handles. But maybe it doesn't matter. But it makes sense that your body, it would place the fat in that area closest to <laughs> where those organs are. And it, it's good for balance and all that, I, I think, because you can't spot check, right? That you would have to figure out how you would have to drop your overall body weight to, to lose those. And is it worth it? it? It's up to you. It's a trade off. It would be hard for me to be super lean because as, as I age, my metabolism is going to drop and I have hyperthyroid that, that I'm trying to solve as well. This needs to stop brutally on his dating advice to young man. What is it? Pretty much, I think what he could be talking about is uh, make sure you get self-improvement. Make sure you learn how to speak. There's a lot of areas that you can improve on in general. And just say, for example, if, if you're on a low level, you would attract similar low level people. But uh, well, once you self-improve, then you could tap into different pools. Everything's a learning process. And I think sometimes just say, for example, if you're dating somebody, they would kind of want to hang around you, even though you should be working on your self-development, that they could kind of make you soft and uh, what they want could conflict with what, where you want to go. So just get clear on the things that you want. Breakups could be pretty hard. And one, once you go through them, it's kind of like you're dying inside, but it takes time, it takes work. Uh, some people say time heals all, but it's not necessarily true. I think that you would have to put in a lot of work to and move on to something bigger and better. Sometimes certain pains, they don't go away. The, they're imprinted on your heart and in your mind. That Some people, you'll never forget them because... If you love them one time, you're always going to love them. This guy looks pretty shredded. I, I like his channel. He's pretty humble. Tall guy. He's into calisthenics. He's popping off. Let's, let's see how much he's making on this video. So if I had to go back in time to before I even started working out, I'd find a less athletic version of he's myself. But knowing what I know now, I would focus okay. on these things. That'd be pretty good. That's a... I would say it's a higher CPM because he's talking about health. 
everybody is interested in having good health, health, wealth, relationships, those kinds of things. 4K. I'm interested in getting a TV, but I probably wouldn't use it. I want to get the, the LG C4, the 77 inch. What else? All right. That, that's my random rant on to learn Spanish. I haven't been practicing my Spanish in a long time, and I, I recently talked to somebody, and, and I could barely speak Spanish to them, but if you could speak Spanish, you could speak another language that you could connect with more people. It just it widens your social pool. All right. I hope you guys have a good day, and let me know what kind of content you want me to create. Please like, share, subscribe comment down below and peace out.